Hi guys, today I have a haul for you um, and it's a pretty big one because it includes a few things I think that I bought before Christmas, a few things I bought in the January sales um, and just some stuff I've picked up since. So we've got lots to get through. The first piece is this gorgeous little velvet crop top from For Love and Lemons which I got in their January sale. We'll of course link it if it's still available but it might not be. I'd actually seen this I think on their Instagram and I really wanted it at the time but I was like that's too expensive and then I went on their website during the January sales and there it was so I picked it up um, and as you can see it's like a buckled crop top so there's like a buckle here, buckle on the back, buckle on the straps um, in the cutaway it doesn't look so great because I wouldn't wear it with a belt as well so I'd kind of wear it slightly differently but I do like it over t-shirts I haven't tried it on its own but I do feel like I would feel quite naked um, because it really only covers like the front but I think this is really nice I like the combination of velvet with the buckles um, so you've got a bit of like a ladylike but badass vibe so loving this piece next up we have another one-off item um, this is a pair of one teaspoon jeans that I got recently from ASOS, they are, were also in the sale. Um, these might still be available. I remember looking at these, I feel like One Teaspoon has had jeans like these for ages, maybe even like more than a year. These are the high waist, free bird, rigid skinny leg. And then the other day I was on the street, um, sorry you guys about my rambling. I feel unable to stop myself during hauls. I was on the street and I saw this girl wearing um, like frayed hem khaki jeans with like muddy brown converse and it just looks so cool and I was like I really want to start doing more like tonal dressing like that especially when it rolls around to spring and summer eventually so I got these in kind of preparation for spring summer they've obviously got big holes at the knees they're distressed everywhere including on the pockets and stuff they're a lovely colour they are high-waisted but they're not like super high-waisted um, which is quite a nice vibe really. Before we get into some more clothes, let's do some shoes. I have two pairs of shoes to show you guys. The first is this pair of Doc Martens, which I got in the sale. I think these ended up being almost half price, I'm not sure. Um, you guys are gonna love or hate these. They are completely over the top, they're glittery, they have like a flame design on them, which is raised by the way, it's like embroidered or appliqued on or whatever. So they look quite high quality, which is something I was hoping for because with this kind of thing it can easily look a little bit lower quality but they look really nice in person. I just in my head had visions of how I was going to style these. I particularly want to style them in summer with like floaty white items. I just think it's going to look really cool. And I've been wanting a pair of red boots like brighter red boots for ages. Um, I still want some probably more delicate bright red boots but yeah I'm loving these. I don't know if you guys are going to love them as well. Um, there should be on my Instagram soon some pictures of me styling these ones but they are on my list to maybe style on my Instagram videos so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. So we're about to get on some Free People clothes so I thought I'd show you these boots first which I got from Free People. Um, they are these incredible um, cowboy boots. I've been looking for a good pair of cowboy boots for ages and I've looked at high end ones, I've looked at low end ones and often like traditional cowboy boots have this like super wide section around the ankle and it's just not as flattering but I finally came across these and they have the most gorgeous embroidery on them with the perfect shape perfect height that came up my calf a little bit because I've obviously got quite a lot of ankle boots they're just gorgeous but anyway I got these from free people but they are quite expensive um, so they were a bit of an investment piece these I am so excited to style these for summer I have been wearing them as you can probably see but I am enormously excited to style these for summer. Beware if you are a UK shopper on the Free People website looking at these, they are in US sizes. I don't know that it's massively clear. Make sure you are aware of that um, before you buy them because I almost bought them in a six and I needed like a nine. Um, if you want to see those on, by the way, I didn't do a cutaway of them, but if you want to see them on, there are some 
Instagram pictures, I believe. There's one Instagram picture which I'll put here. Continuing on with Free People now, a few of these bits I got in the January sales and I also went to their store opening in Covent Garden the other day and they had a bit of a discount going for the opening. So of course I had to pick some more stuff up. I have in my mind um, this trip to St Lucia that I'm going on in February. So I'm trying to pick up a few more pieces for warmer weather. I have these trousers which are made of like a light soft linen-y material so they'll be nice for like cooler evenings um, and they are in this like muddy colour also inspired by this girl that I saw <laughs> with her tonal dressing um, but yeah they're in this like muddy browny mustardy colour and I love them. Um, next I have this little cream knit crop top this is like a classic free people-esque piece got little buttons down the front and some embroidery and everything which is just really pretty and it's just the perfect crop length um, it's really soft the knit is soft next I have one of my favorite pieces it doesn't look like much it's like a kind of beachy see-through shirt in black they also do this in like a creamy white color as well um, but I just think it looks really nice on like I can think of so many outfits that I would wear this with um, like casual ones, beachy ones, more kind of cool rock inspired ones. Um, yeah, I just love, love, love this. Um, it's got a really nice kind of V neckline, but it's quite, it's not too deep. Um, I feel like in the cutaway it doesn't look as nice as it does in real life, but I really, really like this piece. Um, and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. A simple piece, but I love Free People Basics. This is a little tank um, with a kind of inside out vibe and like contrast stitching or slightly contrasting and I just really liked him. So this is definitely a beachy summery piece for my holiday. This is a really nice kind of linen-y super long maxi dress. It's got various layers and stuff to it. It's obviously got a tight bit around the like bodice area. Um, it's got three straps along the back which are just really nice and flattering and it's got quite an open back which I love um, and then you kind of do up this bit um, just to kind of make it drape nicely and make the shape on your back nice. The only thing I don't love about it is that it's got a kind of tie up um, neck strap um, which means it's quite a heavy dress and that can feel a bit a little bit uncomfortable but I also kind of am glad for it because a lot of dresses like this are just too long for me in the torso because they're quite a short torso. Love 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 this. I think they do this in different colours but I love the burnt orangey colour. This is the final Free People piece. This is one I got in the sale. It's this like uber short mini dress in like an orange check with um, yeah a bit of white lace on the front. It's got like a tie at the top at the back so you get a little glimpse of back. Um, it is super short so be warned you might want to wear like safety shorts underneath or whatever <laughs> um, but like a really nice summer piece and a bit unusual as well like the shape's a bit unusual, the orange check and the lace is a bit unusual which is something that I like about free people pieces and I also bought this at around the same time that I bought my Doc Martens like my red ones and I've always thought that the two would look really nice together but it's I've yet to put it together but when I do I'm excited. So before we get into the rest of the clothes I have a lot of hats to show you. Um, I don't know what prompted this. I bought these way, way, way back at the beginning of December, I think. Um, I can't remember. But they're from Lack of Colour. Um, I have been following them on Instagram for ages and I'm always like, I want all those hats. Oh yes, I bought them in the Black Friday sales. All these hats are so gorgeous, but they are a little bit pricier. Um, and then they had sales so I picked everything up discounted whilst I could. They're an Australian brand, I had them all shipped from Australia, I can't remember if I paid customs, I assume I must have done, um, but yeah. So you can get them on various websites, um, like UK based websites, but they don't have the full range of hats. Um, is that all I have to say about these hats? <laughs> I bought them all in an extra small because I have a teeny tiny head. Some of them are still a little bit too big um, and if they are then I've just put hat filler inside them. It's just something you can pick up on Amazon. Lack of colour sells them themselves. Um, I still have a few hats that I want to buy from them but anyway I have been, as you might, might have seen on my Instagram, wearing these hats to death. I'm in love with all of them. At the time I was like why did I buy so many freaking hats? Um, but now I'm like they make an outfit so much better and I'm just super into hats at the moment so I'm going to show you them and stop rambling on. Um, so the first one, I can't remember all the names of them 
I sense that this one's called the Phoenix, but I'm not entirely sure. It is super gorgeous. This one is a little bit kind of smaller in size, brim-wise, than some of the other ones, but it's a little bit taller. But yeah, I love it. I love, love, love these. I'm storing them all like this, just stacked on top of each other, by the way, you guys. I'm keeping the dark ones away from the light ones where possible, because they are all wool. Next, I think this is the Teak Rancher. Um, I want the, the Rancher in a couple of other colours because it's a really versatile hat with a really nice shape. Um, as you can see, the brim for this one's a bit wider. It doesn't feel quite so tall, though maybe it is, um, but it just sits really nicely, this one. And I love the shape of it. Obviously, you can wear all your hats tipped back like that or in the kind of traditional way. But yeah, I love the Rancher. It's probably like my favourite shape. Um, next we have this one. Is it the Sierra or the Sienna in gold? I'm not sure. Um, this is a gorgeous hat. I'm a little bit scared of it because obviously it's so light. Um, so I haven't had much cause to wear it yet either because I believe it'll be a better summer hat. This one's a rounder. It's not got the um, like pinched part of the hat. Um, it's just like a nice round hat. Um, it's got quite a wide brim. Um, and yeah, it's got this gorgeous shiny ribbon on it. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous hat. I cannot wait to wear it more in summer. Then we've got a couple straw hats, which I haven't obviously worn yet, um, just because it hasn't felt quite right to wear them in January and December. But we've got this one, which is kind of a similar shape actually to the um, cream one, but in straw, obviously with a black ribbon. Um, I love their straw hats. I love how they look on people on holidays. I don't know if it's because people are on holiday that I love the hats or I just love the hats, but whatever it is, I'm buying it, I'm buying into it, and yeah, I'm in love with this. Okay, final hat. This one's a little bit of a wild card, and I have been carefully planning how I'm going to get this one to St. Lucia. Um, but it is an enormous great big straw hat. Um, the only problem with this one is that you, oh no you can. I think I need to put a little bit of hat filler in this one, which I haven't done already, so it doesn't sit quite so low. Um, but it's gorgeous, it's got that kind of raw edge to it, which just makes it look a little bit cooler and a little bit less old lady. I think it's gonna be a statement piece and it will certainly keep the sun off my face. Um, I thought, seeing as I was filming a haul, that I would include a few pieces that I got from the H&M showroom when I went in the other day, which were kindly gifted to me by the lovely ladies at H&M. Um, so first up I've got this blouse, I'll show you guys it in the cutout properly. I'm in love with this kind of thing at the moment, boho-y, victoriana -y shirt and I'm in love with it. It's quite girly for me, so I feel like I would tone it down with some more kind of masculine shapes, like a nice blazer, whatever, but loving it. I also got this really um, gorgeous kind of raw edged khaki denim shirt jacket thing which is actually very similar to the jeans that I got. Um, I just love, love, love the shape of this. It's a little bit longer than similar pieces that I've had before a long, long time ago whenever this kind of thing was last in fashion. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice shape and I love, love, love it. And within that kind of colour scheme, I've got this gorgeous, this other gorgeous blouse. It's got a high neck and it's just in a really beautiful material. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. And it's just a really nice shape. It's got lovely sleeves. It's got that kind of floaty sleeve thing going on. It's quite elegant and I just think it'll be really nice for like a smart casual dinner. Um, or something like that. Final pieces now. I have some and other stories bits, um, all of which are coats or jackets because I'm just obsessed with their tailoring and their. I just every time I see a coat or jacket from and other stories, I just want it immediately. I have to restrain myself, but the other day I just couldn't restrain myself any longer. So I got this um, hourglass blazer. It's unlike any other blazer that I have because of that like hourglass shape that it has. And I also, it, they have them in like gorgeous, like classic brown check, um, something a lot more wearable than this. I thought I'd get something a little bit different. Actually, it's occurred to me I don't have a blazer in like a brown check like that. But anyway, <laughs> that's for next time. Anyway, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and a little bit more fun. Um, so this is like a black base with orange and blue, but it almost gives like a purpley vibe, as you guys can see from there. Before I put a belt on this, I was kind of unconvinced. I was like, is it worth it? Because they're not cheap um, and other stories like tailoring bits. 
Um, so I was like, is it worth it? But then I put a belt on it and I was like, okay, it's really nice. And then I took the belt off with and put a different outfit on underneath and I was like, okay, really like this. But yeah, the hourglass shape does need a little bit of a little bit more care than your average kind of throw on blazer um, when it goes into thinking about how you put an outfit together for it. Um, another blazer, because I'm blazer obsessed, I've just sat on it and now it's all wrinkled. <laughs> um, it's this gorgeous orange number. Um, I can't decide what colour this is, like sometimes I think it's quite a bright orange and the next minute it looks to me like quite a burnt orange. So um, I think it's just the material, it's a gorgeously soft material and it falls and drapes really nicely. It's a proper double breasted blazer with buttons as you can see. It's the most gorgeous oversized shape. I'm in love with this. Um, I'm so into my bright blazers at the moment. First the pink suit, now this orange piece. Um, but yeah, I'm love, love, loving it. And uh, I think I will do a little styling video on my Instagram with this blazer. Okay, final piece, much more seasonal. <laughs> um, it's this really lovely, they kind of call it a shirt on the website. I would go so far as to call it a coat. It's this gorgeous fluffy coat in this really nice creamy colour. I have to say, I haven't really bought any thick coats, I don't think, since I lived in Edinburgh and I wore them all to death in Edinburgh. So. I've been kind of feeling uninspired by coats, I've been wearing a lot of jackets as you guys have seen which has led to you worrying about me being cold but yeah I was just feeling a bit uninspired by all my coats and it's not that I won't, I want to keep them because I do love them and I feel like I will go back to them but it's like I need a little bit of a rest from them. I have this gorgeous new number, I also like this because I have nothing like it in terms of the colour. It's got cream in it, it's got grey in it so I feel like it's going to work with outfits that sometimes I'm like I want a lighter coloured outerwear piece so yeah loving this it's a gorgeous shape but you'll see that better on the cutaway so that is it my loves i hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know what your favorite piece was but i will see you again very soon bye